of you to this video. We studied about how to improve crops. Come, let's study about animal husbandry. Friends, you must have seen the cattle farm, chicken farm at various places. In all these animals, like cows, chicken, etc. are kept at one place and they are taken care. Can you explain why this is done? Friends, apart from increasing crop production, we should also take care of animals so that we can get maximum food from them. Taking care of animals for meat, egg and milk is called animal husbandry. So, let's know about animal husbandry in detail. First, cattle farming. Friends, what do we get? From animals like cows and buffaloes, we get milk from them. Do cows and buffaloes provide us anything other than milk? Well, they help in ploughing of field and transportation. Do you know what the female milking animals are called? They are called milch animals. And animals that are used for transportation and tillage are called Dot animals. If you talk about female animals, do you think they always give milk? Think about it. No, the female animal give milk only after the birth to a calf. And that particular period is called lactation period. Do you know how to increase milk production? Think. The production of milk can be increased by increasing the duration of lactation period. Friends, we have known that through hybridization, crops of desired properties can be obtained. Can this hybridization be possible in animals as well? Can a species with desired properties be obtained in animals also by hybridization? Yes, friends, hybridization is also possible in animals. For example, Jersey, brown Swiss are the species with high lactation period. And red sindhi, sahiwal are the species with high immunity. If the results of both the breeds are seen in the calf, then the calf will have both the properties. That is, longer duration of lactation period and higher resistance towards disease. Friends, you know that in cattle farming, Cleanliness and catering of animals are also taken care of. The animals are regularly brushed to remove dirt and loose hair from the body and the animals are provided with ventilated roofing which also protects them from heat, cold and rain. Friends, do you know what is fed to these animals? Animals are fed with fodder and concentrates. Coarse feed contains mostly fibers and concentrate mostly contain high levels of proteins and other nutrients. Do you know besides this what they are given to eat in addition to such nutritious food ingredients? Micronutrients are given to promote animal health and milk production. Friends, as humans get sick, do animals also get sick? Yes, friends, but do you know what is done to protect animals from different kinds of diseases? Just think. Animals are vaccinated against viruses and bacterial infections. So this was all about cattle farming. Now, let's understand about poultry farming. Friends, we came to know that we get milk from cows and buffaloes. Do you know? What we get from chicken? We get eggs and meat from chicken. And to increase the amount of eggs and meat, chickens should be taken care of and this is called poultry farming. The egg laying hen is called layers and the meat giving hen is called broilers. Guys, what do you think? Is the hybridization possible on these chickens? Well. 
hybridization is also possible in chickens in order to get the desired properties. For example, hybridization is done between a seal and foreign leghorns in order to obtain desired properties like higher numbers and good quality of chickens, tolerance to high temperatures and reduction in size of egg-laying birds. Guys, what do you think? Layers and broilers are raised in the same way? No, they are raised in different manner. For good growth rate, broilers are fed with protein, fat and vitamin rich supplements and sent to the market for meat purposes. And the layers are provided with right amount of protein and minerals for egg laying such as wheat, salt, corn, sunflower seeds, etc. Cleanliness is taken care of in cattle farming. Cleanliness is also taken care of in poultry farming. Germicide is also sprayed and chickens are vaccinated to keep them disease free. So this is all about poultry farming. Let us know about fish production now. Do you know that Fish, crabs, prawns, etc. are very good source of protein and are consumed by large section of populations, especially in the coastal region. But where do humans catch fish? Humans catch fish from seawater and it is called fishing. Fishes are caught from the sea with the help of nets. Friends, what can be done? in order to increase fish production? Let's know about this. Fish production can be increased by fish culture. In this method, the selected kinds of fishes are grown with care in limited areas of lake or sea. Do you know what kind of fish are caught in seawater? Fish like promfret, mackerel, tuna, sardine, and Bombay duck are caught in the sea. The marine fish of high economic value are also cultivated in sea water such as millet, bedki, prawns, mussels as well as seaweed. Apart from these, fish are also caught from canals, ponds, reservoirs and rivers but the yield is very low. So, in these cases, fish culture is done. Do you know that fish culture is also done with rice crops so that fish can grow in water provided to the crop. This system is called composite fish culture. In this system, 5 or 6 species of fish are used in a single pond and species of fish are selected so that there is no competition for food among them and food available in all parts of the pond is used. As cattle takes its food from the surface of the pond, rohu on the central region of the pond, mrigals and common carps take their food from the bottom. These species can simultaneously use all the food in the pond without competition. This increases the fish yield in the pond. So friends, this is how fish production is increased. So far, you have learned that we get meat, milk and egg from the animals. Do we get anything else from it? Think about it. Friends, in addition to meat, milk and eggs, we also get honey from animals. But where do we get honey? From bee. Yes, for this reason, honey is also considered as animal product. Have you ever thought how these bees would make honey? Let's know. Bees sit on various flowers and absorb the nectar present in the flower. Now, this nectar combines with the enzyme present in the mouth of bees, which makes honey and the quality of honey depends on the flowers available to the bees. Friends, honey is beneficial for everyone. It contains nutrients 
and is rich in antioxidants. In order to increase the production of honey, like other animals, bees are also taken care of. Different types of bees are used in this, such as Apis serena indica, Apis dorsata, Apis flora, and Apis mellifera. So friends, since beekeeping requires less investment, farmers also consider it as an additional source of earning. So what did we study in this video? Cattle farming, poultry, fish production, and beekeeping.